I know I've made some videos about Eugene Cooney lately, but there's a much bigger problem when it comes to YouTube ads and marketing as a whole. up everybody this is Chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being but part of what I do too is try to be an advocate for mental health and increase awareness and there's some messed up stuff going on when it comes to marketing to people who have different types of mental illnesses and just kind of advertising as a whole. But anyways, if you're into improving your mental health, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And before I jump into that topic, also, I just got the urge to send out an email blast this morning. So if you are on my mental health motivation email list, go check it out. I made a video about, uh, not a video, I made an email about embracing your struggle. Because um, especially after I made that video about spill the other day, a lot of people, can relate to what I was saying where like, we wish we had it as easy as other people, but in this email I talk about how your struggle is actually a really good thing and it pretty much makes you awesome and very resilient. So anyways, I will link that email down below if you wanna check it out and if you wanna sign up for the email list, I just send out emails, try to give, you, give your day a little jump start in the right direction. All right, but anyways, so yeah, what, what's going on with this video? What am I doing? What am I talking about today? So I made a couple videos about Eugenia Cooney and raising awareness, and I was getting, I was getting some comments about the ads on my video, and I'm like, okay, like nobody comments about ads on my video, like what are you talking about? So I was asking, and people were telling me that like, some of these places that sell like some of um, you know the flat tummy teas or those suckers are advertising on my videos about Eugenia Cooney, and that is messed up, okay? So let me talk to you guys for a minute. Let me talk to you all for a minute, okay? Just about how like YouTube ad works and how like the YouTube algorithm works. So when I make a video, I've touched on this a little bit before and all of you creators out there take notes, you put as much information in the title description as tags so YouTube knows who to send your videos out to, right? So. In my videos, um, if you look in the tags, I talk, uh, you know, I have things like, you know, Eugenia Cooney, eating disorders, whatever, just mental illness type stuff, YouTuber type stuff. Well, from the advertiser angle, right, they can target who they want to market to. And that is so sick and disgusting and twisted that it blows my mind. So this means, this means that these companies that are promoting this like weight loss, flat tummy tea, or the suckers, or whatever other products, they are specifically telling YouTube, we want to target people who have eating disorders. We want to target people who like um, channels like Eugenia Cooney. Think about that for a second. That is messed up. This is something that I've wanted to talk about for a long time. So on Instagram, the, al the way that algorithm works is that you use hashtags, right? So hashtags, that's so people can find what you're talking about, different categories. Well, I have different saved documents for different um, hashtag lists that I've made. Some are for depression, some are for anxiety, some are for relationships, some are motivational. But one of them that I have is for sobriety, okay? Sobriety is one of them. And this is so, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so some of them, some of them, like, I post about like, hey, staying sober, like, you know, here, here's some motivation to stay sober. There are alcohol and drug companies out there that are looking for posts that use hashtags like sober and sobriety so they can market to drug addicts and alcoholics. Like, it's, am I the only one seeing a problem with this? Like, what is happening? What type of person thinks it's okay to be like, hey, you know what? I know you're struggling with your alcoholism, but let me tell you about this tequila that I got over here. Like, that's nuts. And this is something that I've had an issue with for a long time, even before I got into YouTube and Instagram and stuff. So as somebody in recovery, like staying sober is difficult. More people are dying from addiction than pretty much any other pre preventable cause of death out there, right? And there are bars out there, for example, who will give you free drinks if you turn in one of your AA coins. Like, think about that. Like, 
I get it. I get that it's like kind of like quirky and a joke and stuff like that. But like, can you imagine, can you imagine a, a, a guy or a woman who has destroyed their family because of their alcoholism, right? Their spouse is about to leave them. Their kids won't talk to them. They're about to lose their job, whatever it is. They get sober. They get sober for maybe two months, maybe three months. Things are starting to get better for them. Things are starting to look like a little bit brighter in their lives. And one day they're struggling, right? One day they get a little stressed out and there's a bar right down the street that will take your coin and give you free drinks. So the bar, they think that's a funny little marketing campaign, like, ah, you don't need to stay sober, no big deal. This person relapses at that bar, turns in their AA chip, and now they lose their wife, they lose their kids, they lose their job, they lose everything that they've worked hard for these last 90 days. Like, is this making sense to you? Like, this is just one of those issues that you know, we face as a society where a lot of these places just see us as numbers and not as people. That's one of the reasons I try to stay so connected to all of you in the comment section. Like, I never want to forget that each one of you is a human being. Each one of you has family. Each one of you has friends. Each one of you has children. Each one of you has a life and this pursuit of happiness. Like, we can't just do stuff like this. And I wanted to make this video to increase awareness, but the other topic that I wanna talk about is just marketing as a whole. So I know both men and women struggle with body image issues, but this is a, a big problem with uh, women in general. Like, so after, and this is gonna sound really ignorant and silly, but I've told some other people about this, but after I did some of my Eugenia Cooney videos and I, I, I was reading all the comments, I, ha I was totally ignorant to the fact that eating disorders were such a huge problem. Like, why are we not talking about this? I put a poll up on my community page just asking how many people ha um, are in recovery from an eating disorder and how many people are currently in the midst of an eating disorder. There were thousands upon thousands of votes and every vote means that somebody is either currently in the midst of it or is recovering from it. And that blew my mind. I'm like, oh my God. And so what is what is the reason for this? So there's, I'm not going to do a whole video right now about the cause of eating disorders, but I do wanna talk about the problem with marketing right now, okay? So something that I'm always trying to teach all of you is to check, check your value system, right? I talk about these YouTubers who need to check in with their values because a lot of them think like, oh, once I get this many subscribers, I'll be happy. Or you might be like, oh, once I get this job, then I'll be happy. Once I get this relationship, then I'll be happy. Once I get this amount of money, then I'll be happy, right? Well, a lot of this also has to do with body image and something that's been kind of um, in the news recently, I, I, I know Philip DeFranco talked about it, um, was that there are a bunch of uh, celebrities endorsing these products like flat tummy teas and these suckers, and it's all over Instagram. It's all over Instagram. So one of the best things that I ever heard that I'm gonna tell all of you, and I want you to remember this, like write it down, put it on your mirror, do something like, just remember this in your brain. The worst advertisement ever would be one that told you that you were perfect. The worst advertisement ever would be one that said, you're fine just the way that you are. The worst advertisement ever would say, you don't need anything to make people like you more, right? Because then why would you buy it? Advertisements are designed to make you feel bad about yourself. That's what they do. Because if there's nothing for you to fix, why would you buy anything? Okay, like this is an issue and we need to be aware of that. So when you see all these like Instagram models or celebrities like the Kardashians or whoever it is like telling you like, oh, use this product, use this product. You'll look like me and then you could be happy. Like you guys, do you know how many people with the quote unquote perfect body are freaking miserable like do you understand that like remember like well um, i made a video about body positivity like a while ago before my channel started getting bigger like i am you know always in and out of this weight loss journey and stuff like that but something i realized is that only losing the weight and not working on this is not gonna help it's not gonna solve my problems but it's, it's like they, they set you up with these false expectations too. So this is an insane, this is an insane ad. So Tristan and I were doing some research before I recorded this video. And like, check this out real quick. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie and today we are back with another mukbang. 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. Mm. Skinny mint gummies. So this is the first one. It's supposed to make your body burn fat. This one is to help curb your appetite. You know when you want like the midnight munchies? Yes. I have 
obviously been loving and been using. So that is Stephanie Sue. She is a, a mukbang or mukbang or mukboom, whatever <laughs> YouTuber, where she stuffs her face on camera. That's a whole different thing that maybe I'll talk about at some other point. But anyways, she is like a twig and she's endorsing these like weight loss gummies. Like what? What you guys? Okay. All right. So like, remember how earlier I was talking about how like uh, in my email, how embrace your struggle and stuff. Like I always thought it wasn't fair. Like I've been a bigger dude my entire life, but my best friend, my best friend in the world who I grew up with, he eats like five times more than I do. And he has the body of a Greek God, okay? Some people were just blessed with amazing genetics and amazing metabolism. So I don't like when somebody like Stephanie Sue is like saying, hey, you can gorge your face, eat 10,000 calories a day, and you can look like this. No, you cannot, okay? You cannot, and we need, this is one of the reasons why I promote people like learning about science and stuff, because you need to realize that that is a false expectation, okay? But the last thing I wanna to touch on is this. Please read that email that I sent out because it ties perfectly into this conversation that we're having, okay? Embrace your struggle, embrace your struggle, okay? Go to the gym eat healthier, meal plan, do all these things that I'm trying to do myself because at the end of the day, you will feel so much better about what you did. Taking shortcuts does not give you that same sense of accomplishment and often with any shortcut in life, there are drawbacks to it. And when it comes to these, it's the fact that they're unhealthy for you, okay? When you're taking these weight loss teas and all these other things or appetite suppressants, whatever it is, okay? So please remember that. Please remember again, the worst advertisements on earth would be ones that are trying to make you feel good about yourself. Advertisements are designed to make you feel terrible, all right? But anyways, I would love to hear from all of you down in the comments below. Like, have you seen advertisements pop up like for, for things that are supposed to be against something, right? Like for example, I'll throw this out there. Like earlier this year, there was a big hubbub about LGBTQ YouTubers having anti-LGBTQ ads on their videos. Like. That's messed up. But anyways, let's have a conversation down below, okay? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I got all your questions for the next Patreon q and I am going through them. And there's still some time. So if you wanna become a patron and submit me your questions, click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.